Reporting Council of Nigeria has requested for urgency in getting a corporate governance code for the public sector in Nigeria. Executive Secretary and CEO of the Council, Shaibu Ahmed, made the call at the 2023 Annual Corporate Governance Conference tagged ESG and Corporate Governance, Aligning Strategies for Sustainable Success. He appealed to the President of the Society for Corporate Governance and other stakeholders to ensure that at least the first draft of the code is released before the end of the year. Ahmed noted that a lot of local initiatives have been put in place to support ESG disclosures locally in Nigeria. He explained that the Financial Reporting Council's Nigerian Code of Corporate Governance NCCG 2018, Principle 26, requires entities to pay adequate attention to sustainability issues to ensure successful long-term business performance. Nigeria was the first country to announce an early adoption of the two standards that have been released, the IFRS S1 and S2, and uh, we've been taking steps to actually implement these standards are supposed to come on, in, to become, um, become implementable by 1st January 2024, which is for January next year. Uh, so we'll be taking steps to ensure that, yes, by January next year, companies in Nigeria um, will be able to uh, adopt and implement these standards. We're happy to note that uh, as corporate institutions, uh, this has been strictly and religiously implemented. But as we say, with corporate governance, it's a journey. In other words, you are influencing culture. So it's not just about compliance. And we believe as we move on, we should be in a position to have a very high standard of corporate governance in Nigeria. People would say politicians are not asked ethical questions before they're elected. Uh, but then when they get into offices, they are asked to be ethical. I think when we have a code, then you're able to have a standard that is expected of those that are in office to lead us in the public sector. For the agencies who fund government, they are asking questions also about ESG. They're asking questions about the way we handle the risk and opportunities from climate change, about also um, human rights, um, employer, employee rights, the way we treat the people who work for us, the way we handle our community. So all of these questions are increasingly coming to the table even for government, so it's important for governments as well. And I think we'll start to see that um, um, that will change. Of recent, we have been having issues as a people in Nigeria with regards to NLC. It's a fact, and I hope the government is going to work closely with the NLC so that all these intermittent strikes we have because of labor are addressed so that the country can move forward. Foreign direct investment will not come into this country when you keep on having this labor. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.